This is my late review of The Hurt Locker. I saw this movie two weeks ago. Now, this is a point in the year that has really surprised me because we've gotten a lot of different things. We've gotten a lot of bad movies here. But particularly right now, I have been surprised with a lot of movies. One of the other ones being Moon. And I'm, when I'm talking about movies, I'm talking about, I didn't think this year could be that good, but with three movies that really changed my mind, coming not from the mainstream, but as indie flicks, some three movies. Moon, 500 Days of Summer, and The Hurt Locker. The Hurt Locker was the first of them for to see. It was the first I saw. There was three movies that my local AMC he got, and, and that was Whatever Works, The Hurt Locker, and Away We Go. And The Hurt Locker was the third one I saw, and it was by far the best one. And I don't know how I can put my top five of this year together so far. All I know is that Up is still number one, but behind the rest of the, the after number one, it consists of State of Play, Moon, The Hurt Locker, and Star Trek. I don't know what in which orders, but those are two through five. There's a point in this movie, the very beginning, where it shows you, by the very beginning, it shows you that anybody can die. That anybody at any point in this lore could die. You don't know when, you don't know how. Which one, any one of these characters can die at any point. They show you that. From that point on, you are worried. You are stressed out every time they go into a war situation. And any time they put on the bomb shelter suit and they go out and they do their job. And from that point on, you know that you don't know who's going to live. You have feelings for every one of these characters by the end of the movie. You care for them. You can care... <clears throat> the main character who... He, he comes off so arrogant and so, you just, you don't really like him, but he forms relationships with some other kid, some other kid there, and things happen, but you feel revenge at points for this character, and you feel mad, and when a movie can do that, you know it's past being on something different than an average film, it's moved on to something of a masterpiece. Now, we've had a lot of masterpieces, not, maybe not many all masterpieces this year, but we've had a lot of amazing movies. This movie stars Jeremy Renner, Anthony Mackie, and Brian Garrity. An amazing trio. I mean, every single one of those people you really care about, but you, you don't know what's going to happen to them. I mean, there's tension between them at times. Even they talk about times they talk about killing each other. When they go being best friends and getting drunk together, there's no certainty in this movie, which I love, because it's so different from the cliché, and it's one of the best war movies I've ever seen, and it's probably a war movie for people who don't really like war movies, because it's not, you know, it's something, it's still intense, but it's something for somebody who couldn't sit to stand to watch um, Saving Private Ryan because it was too gory. This movie... It isn't like that. It doesn't try to shove you a political message in the face, and it's not making you pick a side. It's letting you pick your own side on your feelings about this war. Now, there's a point in this movie when they are sniping towards a building with the enemy Iraqi people there. Um, and because they had to go help some people, you know, there was their car broke down, their Humvee broke down, they had to help them in terms of this tense situation. That's probably my favorite scene because it, it lasts for a while but it's so tense but it shows the commitment to each other and it shows the kind of teamwork and, and you know it, it's just so amazing that scene. It really captures the war for you. That You don't know what's going to happen and you got to stay focused and they're just sitting there and the guy gives him a drink and he's like making him sip it. I'm just like wow. And the thing that makes this movie even more tense is how they don't use really any score. There's very rarely music playing in the background. 
which makes it so much more tense. Instead of trying to make it tense with this, like, you know, the zoning in on the score, it just, it's not there. You don't feel like you're watching a movie. You feel like you're in those people's shoes. You feel like you're in that country. And that's where the movie really just excels in every way. So I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. It is a great movie. Definitely check it out. Definitely see it. One of the best movies of the year. See you guys.